All right, guys, so we're getting ready here to do part two of the trailer brake install, which is programming it to show up on the dash. I'm going to tell you this, that the trailer brake actually worked, but you couldn't see any of the parameters on the dash, so that's kind of a deal breaker. I'm going to do that now. Truth be told, I've already done it, but I'm going to show you how to do it. This is the data link that I bought on Amazon and have been using. This obviously goes into your OBD port. I have Alpha OBD and my truck is a 2017, so I tried it first. They say 20% of the 2017s, you're gonna need the security bypass cable. I did not need it, thankfully, which is kind of weird because normally you know if there's like a one percent chance it it hits me so anyway we're gonna plug our OBD MX we're gonna power up to run we're going to start by shutting off my HVAC and we're going to fire up the Alpha OBD. And we're going to move because that ding ding is going to be annoying to all of us. So we'll go to the start menu. Mine's gold because I've already chosen it. Dodge Ram 1500. Body controller. Control unit for mine is going to be the 1617. Then we're going to click on connect. And wait. So now we're connected to the BCM. Then we're going to come down here and we're going to press this little car icon. This is really hard. Everything is so small. Then we're going to select procedure to start. And then you're going to scroll down and there's a truckload of stuff here, no pun intended, that you can mess with. Then you're going to look for car configuration change. You're going to click on that. Then you're going to click on select option. And you're going to scroll down. Actually, let me find this because, again, there's just like an incredible amount of things in here you can do. So let me find this and we'll be right back. So what you're looking for is PT Chassis Net Integrated Trailer Brake Module. You're going to choose that. Then you're going to select Value. Not enabled, enable. Initially, it's not enabled if your truck didn't come with one because there's no reason to have that display on the dash if it doesn't have the trailer brake controller. So you enable it, hit start. It says enabled. Now, if you go to your switches on your wheel and scroll down, you're gonna to come to the trailer brake controller. And there it is. It's not connected, obviously, because I don't have a trailer hooked up right now. But if I press the gain buttons, you see that it works. If I squeeze the lever, 100%. And that's all there is to it. But like I said, if your truck is in the 20% of the 2017s or newer, then you're gonna need that bypass cable because Mopar, Fiat, whoever, thought it was important to keep you out of there but that's all there is to it and let me know if you got any questions problems issues and i'll try to help you guys have a great day and we'll talk soon take care